What is going on? Very exciting today, 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 day, today. I'm launching my brand new Shopify dropshipping store for you guys. You guys pick the niche. I'm going to launch my first ads and then we're going to chat about scaling. So what is this all going to look like? I mean, the agenda for today, very, very simple. Uh, launch the new store, create my very first ad. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. This is a brand new pixel, brand new Facebook ad account. So I don't want to see any of you guys dropping the comments of, oh, it's a saturated pixel. No, you guys even pick the niche. I know nothing about it. Um, exactly how I want to scale my ads moving forward. What would I do if I see some success, failures? How am I going to A-B test all that? And then I want to do a brief tangent about an app called Hotjar. I have no association to this. I don't even have an affiliate link, but I think it's something that you guys should check out. And then I'm going to leave you some homework. So without further ado, uh, I'll get that off there. Without further ado, let's let's start chatting here. So I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Um, first things first, if the connection is bad, please comment, let me know. So I have no Wi-Fi in my neighborhood right now, and the TVs are out daily. I guess uh, this is a joke, but like not serious joke, but this is a joke that the internet and TVs are going to be off and on for the next 20 days. They're doing upgrades and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. Like, no, I'm not paying for the internet then. Um, that's a joke. So then I said, I work remote. So they dropped me off this box. Now I thought this box was going to be wireless internet. Like I don't need the, the cable. I don't need anything. I'm like, great. No, all that it is, is it takes a minor signal and makes it better for me. So I'm like, guys, so if the internet's still down and out. I don't have anything, but right now it's spotty, but this box does seem to be making that better. So I apologize if that's the case, but anyway, let's jump into launching my new store guys. This is uh absolutely exciting stuff. I'm going to share this video to my feed right now. Um, I'll show you guys my screen as I do this. I'd love if you guys did the same. I'm trying to make these videos, you know, a lot more popular online. So if you guys are interested in supporting me as well, please do this. I'm going to hop on to Hacking Winners. You guys can do the exact same thing as well. Um, this is how I like to get a lot of publicity on my videos, you guys. It really, really helps me out. I'm going to put a space there. really helps me out. That's why I post the content that I do. So anyways. The store that I chose, you guys told me you guys wanted me to do the baby niche. That's completely fair. That's on you guys. So I said I would. Um, and I took a store that I already had just to save myself a little bit of time and not having to buy a new theme. I'll walk you through it all. And uh, then you guys can go. I'm just going to go share now, public. So that's all that you guys have to do. If you guys want to share it, that'd be unbelievable. It means a lot to me and uh, allows me to get a lot more views from it. So um next thing's next let's let's go right to my store i want to walk you guys through this so you guys said baby store so i pulled out all of the stops here for you guys um i want to make sure and that you guys see everything that i'm doing i chose to teach you guys some new tactics that i use with some of my clients and pr producing validity and trust with your consumers so this is the website that we came up with now you guys are going to see a lot of things going on here i, I wanted to go above and beyond okay I didn't just do this. I got my team to help me really quick because I obviously had a short period of time and I didn't want to do something sloppy for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are going to go to this URL, look at some of the things that I'm doing. So I thought that that was very important and I wanted to give you guys this success. So here's my website. Um, I kept it very, very clean. Now, the price persona. I, I have my items priced fairly high for baby outfits, right? Children's, nah, they're baby outfits. They're not children's, babies. Um, outfits, zero to two years, zero to three years old in age. And so my website's very, very clean. That's how I can charge the price that I charge, right? If, if it's not aligned with our brand, we can't charge these prices, right? We'll come into these in just a second. Um, I've got some validity, right? I wanted to add some trust, some validity to my consumers. That's very, very important for me because if someone's ordering for me online. They've never ordered for me before. I need to put some testimonials in there um, and put some reviews, right? Now, this is the extreme, Okay, you guys, now I want to stress that. I'm showing you guys all the extremes that marketers do out there. I'm probably not going to leave this up here, but it's something that you guys can note and see. Um, this is a great tactic. Again, before they even look at the comments, I understand. I wanted to put all of the tactics that marketers use in dropshipping to produce trust, to help you guys out. So celebrating 20 years, this is our team, um, right? And then we've got some of the categories and then our newsletter. So let's hop into a product here, okay? Now I've just guessed what I think are going to be the best selling products. Then I'm going to talk to you a lot about that. So here's one of my products. Very, very clean. You guys can see the age categories right here. I've got variants. As soon as you click, it goes to the different variants. Very, very simple. We've also added some urgency, okay? 
we've added some urgency to show people that, you know, this is what you guys can do as well to create that urgency, create that trust factor on your website. This is a big thing for you guys. Um, here's the other things, right? There's, there's adding trust. Oh, whoops. I don't know what I just did. I think I swiped. Yeah, I swiped. Ah, my bad. Um, so these are the other things you can do, right? People are currently looking at this product. It'll show a number there. It'll show estimated, um, delivery time, three to five days. These are great ways of adding trust, increasing validity. Now we come down a little bit. What do we have here? Exactly what we chatted about yesterday. Here is my cross sells. Okay. I'm going to come twofold on this. So just bear with me. Then they scroll down. So they're not satisfied with what they've seen so far. They scroll down. Here's some customer reviews. Okay. I've gotten a lot of reviews. Um, powered, powered by Ali Reviews. So these are right off the AliExpress listing. Okay. Um, and you can go through pages of these reviews. That's, that's huge for us, you guys. Those are actually real reviews as well from AliExpress. Um, so you guys can check that out. Now, just checking for some comments here. Um, watching the live for the great content. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So any questions, please toss them in there. Now, where did I find all these products? What did I do with this? Okay, now I did a couple of things. This was actually the first product that I found. So what I did is I was on Hacking Winners, right? Hacking Winners. Um, now, you guys said baby clothing. Okay, that was what you guys wanted me to choose. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, or you guess a baby in general. Now I had to decide what's a big enough ticket item within that niche that I can really focus on. And I decided to do clothing, specifically more the guys' clothing. The reason was, is I went and I just came down and the categories are still beta, right? So you guys got to bear with that. There's going to be one specific to baby and stuff like that eventually. But I didn't have access to that. So how would I do this using this platform? Because that's the purpose of this course. Now, I came to clothing. I went to last seven day sales and this was all done yesterday. I started this yesterday morning. So it hasn't even been 48 hours, you guys, of working on this. Keep that in mind. So this just shows you exactly what you can achieve. Now I had a starting point. I already had the Shopify theme purchased. That's my advantage. Oh no. Um, you guys are going to see that it's actually from an old site that I ran that I don't run anymore. Um, the theme, but everything had to be redone on there. There's no products on there that were applicable, nothing. So I came on here and I was just looking at clothing. And all that I did is I started scrolling until I could find baby clothing, okay? Because, again, baby's going to be added here. There's positive in keywords. That's what the programmers are working on right now. So I could say I want to see baby in the title. Great. I can just search for those. Same concept or not have baby in the title, right? So anyways, I just kept scrolling until I literally came across this product. Came across it. Great sales. Learned a lot about the country's insights. Excuse me. Majority were the USA. That's totally fine. I think I've got a niche that I can kind of uh, use that. Um, as well as, you know, Australia, Spain, Portugal, the usuals. Okay. So this is awesome. This is adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Now, why did I choose these products? Cause yeah, there's some great baby stuff out there. You guys said baby. So I had to run with it. First thing that I looked at was, or I thought about essentially was, well, what products fulfill those, those categories that I told you guys about for types of products to sell. Now I said, should I be selling products like, you know, um, along the lines of viral or needs or what now? Baby needs. That was the first thing that I thought. I'm like, yeah, that's going to be great. And I was actually going to run with baby needs. Okay. But then I was like, ah, gosh, what are the baby needs? Right? Like the needs are, you know, either they're like food and things like that or bottles, but I'm like, no, oh, that's a lot of quality control. And I would never be able to live with something on my conscience if anything ever happened. So I was like, not willing to risk that personally, unless I'm a part of the production factory, literally. So I'm like, okay. That's out of the door. Now I'm like, um, it's kind of it for the needs that I could think of, right? Like, you know, on necessity side of things. And then I thought clothes. At first, I wasn't a big fan of clothes. I went, yeah, they're a need technically, but people are already shopping for clothes at stores. Gave it some more thought and started to go to Google Images. And I was like, baby clothes. You know what? There's some viral aspect to that. Then I saw like these adorable like baby outfits. And I was like, this is awesome. Now I've chosen a product that's a viral product and a neat product as well. So now I've got huge, huge gap for me there. I've got a product that, you know, people are going to tag their friends in. Plus you need clothes for your baby, um, events. I added some Christmas there because I figured I could blow out some Christmas stock. Um, you guys probably saw that. I have Christmas because I figured, hey, maybe people want to go in there just to get old Christmas stock. I'm like, awesome, right? Um, and so this is going to be very, very powerful for you guys to recognize why I'm doing this. So I'll, I'll, I see someone saying, what theme are you using? Um, I'll double check the, the theme really quickly after, but I'll send you guys, I'll put the link above or below this video. So you guys are watching that. I'm going to write this down right now. Pause, pause, pause. Um, in the comments there, I'm going to put uh, Shopify theme. 
Um, but I'll, I'll send you guys a link to that. Uh, and as well, you know what I'll do is I'll also contact the developer of that theme, you guys. And I'll ask if I can get you guys a discount on it. Because I, I do believe it was a paid theme. That's why I use this old site. Um, so, yeah, I'll try to get you guys a discount on that theme or see what I can do there. Um, yeah, Exodus is a great idea for after sale. Exactly. Yeah, so it, it's urgency. So now I've got, uh, cause I've got an expensive product on there, right? $45 US-ish is expensive for a baby outfit. Without a doubt, I'm not going to discredit that at all. But that being said, I need to still provide someone with a lower income basket if they just want to test out my products. And you know what? It's convenient timing. It worked out great for me because if you're watching this video on a replay way in the future, it's January 8th. So this was obviously a big, big um, play for me, right? So I'm going to utilize that. Now, you guys can do this with any style of, of, of goods, anything like that, okay? So uh, let's jump back into this. I'm actually pretty pumped about how this store turned out. And I want to stress how simple it was to do, you guys. Um, this was not that hard. I found this product. Okay. And then I literally went to AliExpress or Ali, Ali, blah, 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 Amazon, sorry, went to Amazon and started finding all my cross sells and upsells. Guess, guess where those upsells and cross sells are now. This is with an upsell and cross sell. This was an upsell and cross sell. This was an upsell and cross. I found so many through that. It was actually insane. Okay. So I started with one product. This is the product. I'm going to advertise this product. Okay. But this is the product I started with and that's how I got the rest of my stores collection. Okay, guys. So it's very, very powerful, very easy to do. Um, I want to stress that that's using Shopify. It's using a pre-built template. Um, yeah, there's so many things. And again, I went above and beyond with mine. You don't need all of these buttons in yours and techie features, but I wanted to show you guys the end all be all example of what you can do in 24 hours. So if you're watching this, you're not doing anything. Don't be lazy. Just do it. I get that. It was the weekend, okay? Maybe some of you guys have jobs, but hey, we all had Sunday off, chances are. Maybe you work a shift work. You probably have another day off. I did this on the, um, the weekend, right? So keep that in mind, right? I literally started this Sunday. Couldn't work yesterday. It was uh, the girlfriend's birthday. So um, that's always uh, an expensive time of year. No, I'm kidding. But um, I couldn't really do much anyways. So my, my hours in this were limited. If my programmers didn't help me, which they did a little bit of, um, I'm saying that this probably took me sitting down 15 hours to set up total. So really, if you guys can't do that, you can't do that. Now, another thing I added was a phone number. Um, I use an app on my iPhone called Line 2 is what it's called. I'll go to the site. I, again, I'm not affiliated with this at all. This is the one that I like. It's great. Um, it basically gives me another phone number on my phone so that I can have a, a number on my website. And they actually call me on that if they wanted to. Um, I'm obviously going to hand that off to a VA or someone. So I'm not going to be answering that too often, but chances are they're not even going to call that number. The big thing is, is generally speaking, when we have something set up like that, it just increases validity. Validity and trust go a long way. People don't need to go to these extremes to try and find you. If you're openly giving people your phone number and email right there, well, their chances are they're probably going to trust you, right? That's something that Shady people don't often do. Now, I don't want to be supporting shady dropshippers by any means. So dropship legitimately. Ship your products. There's a lot of people out there that sell things and then won't ship their products. Do not do that. That is scummy. That is scammy. I don't like that. Um, if you're watching this video and you do that, please go away. Um, so <laughs> that's uh, that's my spiel on that. So let, let's jump into the Facebook pixel, I guess, and, and the ad account. If anyone doesn't have any other questions, I'll let some questions pop up here. But we're going to chat about creating our first ad. Now, in this space, I made this difficult for me, you guys. Okay, I want to stress this. I don't like setting myself up for success because I think that when I do that, you guys don't learn as much. So I'm going to go the difficult route. I'm not going to have access to a video for this product. Not. At the end of the day, I'm not. It is what it is. So maybe I'm going to edit something together. Maybe I'll take some suggestions from you guys. But at the end of the day, I'm going to use the product imagery. Images already don't do as good as videos. Huge disadvantage for me. But still... Let's check this out and see how it does. Again, foreign markets, maybe images do better. Maybe images do better with the baby niche in foreign markets. Who knows? Um, so anyways, creating our first ad. Let's chat about the ad account really quickly. I just want to show you guys this so that uh, I avoid the BS. This is the Pixel. Um, Boxing Llamas Pixel is what it's called. The reason for that is I have so many business accounts. Facebook will not let me make business accounts anymore. You guys can see a bunch from there. Um, they won't let me make business accounts anymore. So I also have to create a new email address and create a new business account, add me to the business account. And my email address was something boxing llamas. 
Um, so I added that email address to it and I just called that so if I ever have issues, I know where the original email is, blah, 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 blah. This is the pixel we're going to be using. Um, this is the ad account. It's, it's got, uh, nothing on it. It's never been utilized. Um, so this is brand new. All I did was add the billing on it. That was it. Uh, oh, there's the ad account here. Anyways, Jan ate that account. Um, boxing llama pixel, two things I'm using. I've added the pixel to the website. I see some of you guys are already going to the website. Um, that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, one live visitor. Uh, me. Ah, gosh, I'm an idiot. That's me who's going to the website. Not you guys. Um, so everything's pretty legit there. I don't really have anything to say um, about that. But let's jump into actually creating an ad. Let's see what I've got to work with from a content side of things, first of all. Um, and then, yes, the page that I'm using as well. Um, da -da -da -da. So you guys are aware that page that I'm using was the old Top Smart Deal page. I'm going to switch it over again. Just so many things to do for you guys in such a limited period of time. Combination with the girlfriend's B-Day. Um, I was unable to achieve everything. So I couldn't create a brand new Facebook page. Obviously, I should. And it, this is a huge disadvantage selling from Top Smart Deal. Um, and you're selling baby clothes. So keep that in mind, you guys. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, this is what I got. It's my product. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any comments there. This is my product. I need to create an ad for this. I need to create some urgency for this. What are my starting points? Okay. Well, I've got to download these images, first of all, because I, it's kind of all I have to work with. I'm trying to think of a cool way to edit this. Um, and let's see if I can come up with something. Okay. Because definitely I want to show you guys working with images, which is a lot tougher. What can you actually do with them? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if I can make like a cool little edit quick. But again, my time is obviously limited. I'm not a big fan of doing this. I usually pick products that have a, a video in it. But when I don't have choice in my niche, okay, I got to suck it up. Now, I'm just going to go into Photoshop. Keep in mind, I'm not that good with Photoshop, A. And B, everything that I'm about to do is easily doable by someone through Fiverr. So I'm going to quickly see if I can make a nice little edit quickly. If I can't, I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to worry about it, okay? Uh, but if I can, I got a cool idea here to showcase the products. I, I will, if not, oh well, I'll move on. Life will move on. Photoshop's gonna take a while to load anyways. Um, but so what I'm planning on doing is I'm kind of trying to overlay um, this one here um, and then put like this blue one like just off to the side. So you can almost see like, oh gosh. Okay, I'll just show you here. Um, this will be easier. So I, again, I don't know, maybe this is too hard, maybe it's not. I have no idea, you guys. I don't pre-plan my examples. I thought it'd be cool for you guys to actually see this process as well. Um, some of you guys that are annoyed, okay, fast forward past this part. That's on you. Uh, there's nothing I can do for you. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'll show you the concept here. Uh, but I don't, again, I don't want to, the, um, the magic tool. I need the magic tool. I don't even remember everything is all the time because that's how little I use this. So this white one's going to be tough. I might not even be able to do it with this one. So that's kind of a problem. Now, if I just delete the background out, um, again, if you just can vocalize what you're trying to say to someone on, um, da, 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 if you can vocalize this to someone on Fiverr, you're going to be able to get the same effect, right? So keep that in mind, you guys. Now, all I did was use a magic wand. I've done nothing of, of value really there. Um, now I'm going to go to the other layer. And I, again, if you guys are bored by this, I apologize. I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see. So I wanted to do this uh, and utilize this for you guys. So I'm just going to drop that gray one in behind. And you guys will get the idea of what I'm doing here now in a second. Just going to drop this gray one in behind. And I'm going to shift it. Deselect. Shift it. Oops. Where is it? Am I moving it? Again, this is where my, my lack of experience will um, prevail. So, oh, I got to do this again. Oh, delete out that stuff. There we go. Now I got both of them there. So what I was thinking was maybe there's like a good way to do like a creative little um, piece like this, like show the the different ones just off to the side. I'm going to bring this guy down and bring this guy like just like that, right? Those shoulder pieces. I was thinking about getting rid of that extra pair of pants there and then having all four shirts like that. So let me know your thoughts really quick in the comments if you guys think that would look cool or not. Um, again, I don't know. I don't, I don't have kids. Some of you guys might have kids or had kids or I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't know, babies. Um, that's again, why I chose this niche. So let's go, let's go from this and let's run with this. Okay. So now I'm just going to, um, quickly get rid of these pants. Um, and again, this, maybe this is cool for you guys. Maybe you guys can see really quickly that it's actually not that hard to use this program and you guys are considering getting it. 
Um, I'm not going to do advise this, but I know there's a lot of free torrents. I know a Photoshop's a very, very expensive program. Um, but just keep that in mind. Again, I don't do that. I paid for mine, but um, I, I understand that the circumstances for a lot of people, drop shipping especially, uh, because of how the market is framed, that, that's why you get into it. So I think that looks pretty cool right off the hop, adding the other two in behind there. I'm going to go check out the comments, see what you guys have to say about this. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay. Um, about the Facebook account, is it a fan page? Um, it's just a page. I just clicked create page. I'll show you exactly how I do that. Um, but I'll go back to that in a second. A quick question or a question that I have for running ads as you go further in depth in this video, how do you utilize the data countries from hacking winners and incorporate it into Facebook ads? So we're going to get there without a doubt. Um, we're going to get there today. I'm going to launch those ads today. Um, you said created extra Facebook account. Is that separate to the fan page? Can we revisit that on day seven? Yeah, we can definitely come back to that as well. You guys. So all I did for the, uh, the ad account is I just created a brand new ad account, you guys. Um, it's brand new, and then I tied it to my business manager. Uh, I'll go back here so you guys can really see this laid out. Um, da -da -da. So on my business manager, now I've got my um, January 8th ad account. I just created that today. It's tied to my business manager, and then I've got my page tied to my business manager, and that's what I'm going to use to advertise this Shopify store. So... Um, if that doesn't clear up the questions, I'll address it more concisely and clearly as we move forward. But, uh, I think people think this looks cool. So I'll quickly finish up this edit. And again, um, you guys, I, yes, I'm probably better than you with Shopify or with, with not Shopify, with Photoshop. I get that. Okay. So, um, don't, don't think that I'm trying to one up you guys. I'm not saying that this is something that's easy to do. I'm saying that if you go to Fiverr, you could get this done for $5, um, with ease, right? You, you for sure could, but I'm just doing this. So maybe you guys want to consider this is something that you like doing. Um, I find it fun. And as well, it's a lot quicker if you're able to do this yourself. A lot of the times what I'll actually do is I will go and do this myself to begin. And then I will simply hire someone from Fiverr to do it better than me. Because yes, they are much better than me at this without a doubt. Um, and then that way I've got something that I can short term test while I'm waiting for the actual uh, legitimate product to be finished okay so now i've got that blue one ready and i'm just gonna move that around i've got to put that one on the very bottom right so this is this is just something that i like now it's a quick implementing process um now i see that i've got an issue with the sleeve right so now i've got to go in and do that really quick um but yeah like i don't want to stress you guys i don't want you guys to think this is that complicated just know that it's great to either have someone that you know that can do this um or just learn some of the simple tactics behind this because now you can touch up AliExpress listings, really utilize things um, quickly and effectively, right? You guys are seeing that this is taking me, you know, a total of five minutes. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys. I'm sure some of you guys are like, wow, this sucks. This is not what I expected. This is why I, I didn't pay for his free training course. Um, you know, all sorts of those things. I'm, I'm probably, I'm joking. He didn't pay for my free training course. That was a joke. Um, Laugh it up. See, now I have an issue with this one, right? So this one might not be convenient for me if I can't. Oh, whoops. I'm doing it backwards. If I can't, figure it out quickly. I'm just going to, yeah, I, I'm going to move onwards, I think. Um, or see if there's a way that I can kind of overlay them. So I don't have to worry about that piece of the collar. And I see that there kind of is, so maybe I'll run with this because the background's going to be white anyway. So if it's the bottom layer, that's totally fine. But you know what? I'm looking at this and I'm going, I don't even think this one looks that nice in this photo. Um, cause it's kind of a sloppier image. So you know what? I'm just going to actually leave it out. I'm not even going to use that one. Okay, so just for the purposes of demo, it doesn't really matter. Why will it not let me delete you? There we go. So now obviously I need to make the background a nice color. Um, and I, I'm hinting at that as if I'm actually going to put a real color there. No, we're going to use white. We want to keep things nice, simple to look at. Um, generally speaking, we don't want to overcomplicate this process, especially. Uh, we want just a nice crisp image, right? I'm not going to put any overlay on this yet. Um, I'm going to leave it as is. Maybe I'll put my logo there. That's obviously something that's very important. Um, so if I go to my website, I should be able to pull it again. If I can, if I can't do this quickly, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, save, image, save, oh, the little, save image as. There we go. I'm going to hop back over. And maybe I'm just going to put this here so that people know that it's an ad, right? Because I want them to know to an extent that it's an ad. I want them to see it since it's an image. And I want them to say that, okay, cool. This, this adds some credibility without a doubt. But I want them to know that they can buy this. So that when they're looking at this, it's not just like, um, oh, that's a cool image for me to take my friend, not know that it's an app, right? Because some of these people who are going to come across this photo, 
their Facebook might work differently than yours and they might not actually see the description. So awesome. That looks like a great post for me and it's considering I'm putting it together in just two minutes. Um, so I'm just going to go downloads, JPEG, and I'm going to save this guy as a uh, basic baby Jan 8th. Right, I like to put a name to it so I can search it if I need to in case I lose it. Um, and I'm just going to click OK. Now that, that image is going to be saved for me. I'm going to just minimize Photoshop. If my laptop gets slow, I'll close it. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions with that? Let's jump right into the, um, the actual ad now. So with an ad, I want to explain something really quickly for you guys. There's two types of essentially ads. In the, 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 kind of. But yes, I get that there's actually like 24 types of ads, whatever. But there's something called a dark post and an organic post. And I want to explain that to you really quickly. So I'm just going to go to a random person's Facebook page. Um, I'm trying to think of an ad. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that I can just find like, blah, 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 let's go like Walmart. Um, this is not important, but uh, Walmart's probably not running Facebook. Ads. Uh, maybe they are. Yeah, Walmart maybe is. Um, they're a pretty, pretty advanced company, I'd say. So I have faith in you, Walmart. Don't let me down. So two types of things, um, organic posts or visual posts or dark posts, okay? Now, if I'm on their page, um, they're going to have these, okay? So now this post that I'm about to see when I scroll down just a second, if it ever pops up, you got so much junk up there. Um, this post, okay? They could use this as the piece of ad content. Again, just remember what I'm saying now because we're going to do this together in a second. They could use this piece of ad content as their actual ad. And that's called an organic or a visual post. So this post stays here. It gets all of these comments, engagement, shares, which they've clearly done as their ad. Or if I click the info and ads, they can, when they're creating the actual ad, they can put, um, you know, it states, when they're creating the actual ad, they can create the ad content within there. And that's what's going to pop up here. These ads are not visual for everyone. If I go on their page, when this ad's shown to me, I'm, I don't know what kind of or organic reach it has. It's not beneficial to do these unless you're running like a retargeting campaign where you're offering a discount or something, right? Um, but yeah, that's the basic premise of it. You'll understand it a bit more in a, in a second, okay? Um, so let's go over to my Facebook page, my top smart deal. This is where, again, I have a disadvantage. This is not beneficial for me um, due to the constraint of time. I'm using this page. I'd rather create a page that's my basic baby. Um, but let's go ahead. Now I'm gonna create a post using this photo. Yeah, I'm going to have a call to action in there and things like that. Um, da, 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 publishing tools. Yeah. So if I go publish, I want to show you guys the full extent of what we're allowed to do here. Um, da, 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 da. One second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys understand what visual and, and dark and non-dark posts are really quickly uh, before I move on? Because I'm realizing that this is going to get confusing as I do this. Um, so when you can create an app, you have your campaign, which is like a title. Then you have the actual ad set, which is who you're targeting to. And then you have the actual app. So comment if you know or if you don't know. Then you have the actual ad, okay? Now, with the actual ad, this is something that you guys can do um, conceptual. I'm trying to think of how to word this. With the actual ad, it'll give you an option like use existing post or create app. If you click use existing post, that post is on your page. It's visual for everyone to see. If you click um, the... If you click the, 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 what do you call it? Um, the actual create ad. I don't know why my head's all over the map with this. And maybe I'm overthinking this. Just let me know. If you actually click that create ad, you're going to see that now it's a dark post. So only the people that you're advertising to see that post. Maybe some of their friends if they comment it and things like that. But again, that's not beneficial for us. Um, I want to stress that because it's, yeah, it's not. I don't know. If you guys if you guys get where I'm going with this, let me know. I think I'm overthinking this, but just let me know. Um, and then we can go from there. I'll give you guys a second to comment before I move on here because I'd like to go on to this and create an ad together. Um, and so while I'm waiting for those comments, I know that there's a delay. Um, grab a drink of water. Um, the, the biggest thing is when we're creating an ad, don't overstress it. Don't overcomplicate it. Um, I see that happen all too often. Don't, don't think that you're, you're really going to shoot yourself in the foot with this step. Um, just use something that's relatable, more of a conversation starter is better, right? When we look at content that ends up going viral, it's, it's always content that, you know, was oriented around a conversation. Okay. It was, it was something that was like, you know, uh, look at politics. If 
I see like the border wall, I'm not getting into politics. I want to say, but you know, people will put up a picture of the border wall and say, do you think this is right? Now that sparks you in an emotional response and you want to reply to that. You want to comment to that. So what's effectively happening is that post is going viral with like, they're just say, sitting there saying, thank you for letting me go viral, Jarrett. Um, that's what's happening, right? So understand that you guys really visualize, understand, conceptualize that. We always want to start a conversation with all of our posts. Um, at the end of the day, we're marketers. That's our goal. If we're trying to get something viral, that is our goal. Okay. So yeah, um, there's no comments. I don't know if you guys understand. You guys aren't commenting. Um, so please let me know. Okay. Just, just regardless when you guys get to that point, please let me know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, start a conversation. We want to get that virality, especially when you have a product like what I'm about to sell. Um, I'm all tangled here. Product like I'm about to sell because it's going to strive off that. It's not a necessity. So the ads are going to be different than normal. Um, but it, it's a product that people are going to want to talk to their friends about. That's what I'm banking on. That's why I think it'll be successful. Um, so I'm just going to hop back into sharing my screen. No comments. So I, I'm going to assume everyone knows it. Um, some comments there. Oh, they just popped up. Ah, ah. Um, holy cow. A lot of comments. Why was there none? Um, pay for a free lesson. I know I'm, I'm a funny guy. I, I like to think I'm funny. Um, no, I'm kidding. What uh, video editor do you use? Any free ones to incorporate logos, videos? Uh, you know, so what video editor do I use? I use iMovie. It's just a free Mac program. Um, I'll make a YouTube video and toss it up somewhere so you guys can see that. But I, I use iMovie or YouTube. And honestly, there's probably great tutorials. There's no benefit. Uh, it's, it's very, very simple. Uh, if you guys have a PC, I'm sure there's one, but, um, yeah, dark sounds bad. It's not like necessarily a bad thing. It's like where I put my ads. If I was retargeting to someone, so they came to my site, never purchased. And then I had an ad that was, Hey, get 20% off your next order or this or birthday special or some lie to get them to come in at a discount. I don't want everyone seeing that discount. So that's why I'd use that. So organic is from the page post. That's yes. That is hundred percent right. Dark is under the ad section. Yes. Um, it's kind of like a boosted ad, except just way more um, detailed. You can actually choose the target. We are commenting. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't see them. They don't load on this platform sometimes. I apologize for that. Um, but now I look like an idiot and we will move forward. Um, okay. I'm going to go and I'm just creating a post on my actual page here. I'm going to upload a photo. Uh, it'll be this photo. I'm just going to drag it in here. It's usually quicker to do this because I don't know where it's going to be. Um, and upload. Awesome. So now I got to write something here. Okay. Um, I got to include my link. I know I got to do that. Now we're going to chat about this too. I got to include my link in here somewhere. And then I got to put, you know, to get yours, get it here, blah, 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 blah. And why isn't all letting me click this, um, set, but this link looks really abnormal. It's really, really huge. It's really, really big. Right. So, um, a lot of people like to use bit.ly shortener. Bit.ly's great. Um, there's also Google URL shortener. They're both fine. Um, but I use that shorter link. Now, the reason is, of course, it just doesn't look so hectic in there. That's a much better uh, and much more reasonable, whoops, reasonable thing to visualize. I'm just going to make sure I'm sharing my screen because I feel like I'm being an idiot. No, I'm not. I got that idiot brain today, guys. Um, I really do. Things are just, yeah. Um, so I want to write a catchy caption. Now, if I didn't know what to write, where would I start with this? I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. It's a tangent. Didn't plan on going to this, but this is going to give you guys access to a ton of different ad content. So this is my big edge, a different software that I have. It's definitely not something for beginners. It's an advanced program. It's not cheap. So that's why I don't want to focus on it, but we're just going to be able to look at a lot of ads really, really quickly and see what other people um, utilize their ad content to ask. That's why I want to do this. Okay. So I'm just going to go, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm just going to go and actually expand this um, to the engagement. Da, da, da. Uh, here we go. So I can rank this. I think I favorited some good ones for you guys. No, maybe not. Um, I'll go to ads that are just using Shopify so we can see these. I'm just going to open these up so we can see exactly what some of these aren't going to be here because I haven't used this in so long. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, but we might actually be able to see some good ad contents. So poop, wash, dry. It's that simple. So again, Tushy, great company. That's just a simple catchphrase. I like this ad. The reason is, is because it's straight to the point. They play a humor card. They don't need all this XX text, all this excess text okay guys um that's a good example this is uh spiro quilco a quilting company so they're more interested in actually having a relationship with their consumers their consumers are a lot older of a demographic that's important to note 
they want things like this. They want this nice worded phrase, blog style kind of ad, I like to call it. Uh, definitely not for, for what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to continue on through here. Um, Pet Ninja, usually the pet ones have a good one. This is something similar to what I'm going to go with style-wise. So it's a great starting point. These are the emoji kind of, uh, we've seen these a lot, emoji impulse purchase kind of add some pressure concepts to them. So they've got the bit.ly link. They've got some emojis, grabs your attention with the big keyword at the beginning, help, my pet sheds like crazy. They've got a, a need that they're addressing right at the top, right? It's actually very interesting how they do this. They're a good company. A need right at the top that they're addressing. Um, they're also adding that, you know, we need these. So they're implying that you can get this kind of concept. And then they've got the get yours here. So it's actually a really good thing. They've got tag and share with your friends. This post probably allows that. If you do that now, it actually won't be shown to as many people. Um, that's unfortunate. If you put tag or share with your friends, sometimes you can get away with it. Sometimes you can't. I'm just going to copy that to toss in my, in my, uh, ad. So again, what I would be doing if I was you guys, I'd be going through my feed, looking at other ads. Um, that's kind of the purpose of this. I'm just trying to find one gift for me. They usually have good stuff. Um, this is that dual dog leash. This is literally where I found it. Um, so same thing, right? Wow. Cat, big headline. Get your consumer's attention right off the bat. Two dogs on one leash implying the problem. They're showing that problem. Um, giving you a solution. They're literally walking you through this. So attention to problem, to solution, um, you know, swivel joint, blah, 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 get yours urgency. They've got a discount in their urgency. Um, and then they've got the links and then they've got the tag. Someone who needs this again, they probably got away with it. I don't think we're going to be able to, but let's put this in my ad as well. Um, so again, that's, that's, that's the uh, purpose of that is to show you that is not necessarily to check out that program. If you want to go ahead, but um, it's just to get a lot of ads really quickly for you guys to see this. This is a great starting point when you guys are looking at writing up ad content um, for you guys. I'm just going to make sure that there's no more comments because now I see that I was missing them. Shortcut video editor is free. Yeah, that's, yeah, definitely write that down. Shortcut video editor. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know who's writing this, um, but someone's saying that's a good one. So abuse this community, you guys. Start posting in this group. Um, chat with each other. Okay, really do that. So, okay, now I've got two good ad pieces in front of me. I know that they're good because those videos have millions of views. I'm familiar with the company. They're having some success. So how can I um, apply this to mine? Now, I'm not a good content writer. For those of you guys that know me, um, it is true. I probably wouldn't even have gotten into university if it wasn't for my very generous high school professor. Uh, really helped me out in a very interesting way. I think you guys can put two and two together there. Um, he was able to manipulate the uh the grade that was at the end of my transcript to allow me to get in um i know it's actually crazy i was math brain i got 99 or 98 on my um math calculus on uh, i was brilliant physics 100 percent awesome chem 100 percent social and eh, it depends if i had to write a paper in that class or not uh and english definitely not my forte so that's coming for me again huge disadvantage right so what's a good kind of way to get people to get their attention um, let's take a look. So help, definitely not necessarily. Wow, could work, right? Wow, definitely can work. Um, I'm going to go with OMG, right? Because again, I'm trying to acquire that my basic baby, the play on it's kind of fun. That's going to be my little catch. This is again, you guys can go with any style of advert that you'd like, but this is what I like for this level of product. Okay, you guys I'm not going for incredibly professional. Um, again, let's go look at my website quick. It's, it's not incredibly professional. It's got some urgency on it. So emojis are going to fit in there essentially is what I'm getting at with that. The site is clean, but it's not too clean to the point where I got to make my ad, you know, established in 1982. These fine designer cashmere sweats will be perfect for your infant's bottom. I don't need to go along those lines, right? It just doesn't fit this. Okay. So make sure your brand and value is all in line with each other. This is something that I see a lot of people struggle with. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Um, absolutely adorable. Um, right. Great. Now. So I've got, Oh my God, I've got a little catchphrase in there. I've got absolutely adorable. That's kind of like implying that, you know, this is something that that's accessible. Um, and then I can put, I can even go a step further. Um, every baby needs the, um, this outfit. Um, right. So now I've got, okay, I've gotten the attention. Now I've kind of segued them to Getting the realization where their brain's now going to go, oh, wow, that would be cool on, maybe they don't have a kid, maybe Joanne's baby, maybe Bill's baby, maybe, you know what I mean? Like, that's the mindset that I'm trying to walk them through and guide them through. Um, so, okay, great. Now I've got that. Now, so I'm essentially done uh, these portions of it, right? I'm essentially done help. 
Uh, we need these amazing gloves. Now, grooming has never felt so good. Swivel joints. So these are now actually like providing the actual value of it, right? This is tough for me because I don't have a good that's like a tool. These are both kind of providing that real value. They're essentially tools. So how can I kind of still follow this trend and path of creating a good ad content? What can I put here? So now I got to think, oh my God, adorable or absolutely adorable. Every baby needs this outfit. Um, okay. So let's say along the lines of, um, you know, cute and high quality fabrics are all that, um, basic baby uses. So something along those lines. So now I'm actually showing them, um, you know, the transformation. So they're like attention. They now know that they might want it or have access to it. And now I'm giving them the big benefit of it. Right. And again, I'm not a huge fan of that line. I'd rather change that out, but, uh, impulse, maybe you guys have something better. Drop it in the comments. If you think you have something that that's good there, I'll let you know my thoughts. So I'm getting this together and great now. Okay. We're pretty much at the point where I can say, if I'm going to offer a sale, I'm just going to take this because easier for me than, than uh, finding those buttons. And I'm going to go, okay, I, I do have my products discounted right now. Should I include that in the post? I think so. I think so. I'm going to put, um, you know, I'm going to put uh, new season sale on today. Um, no, I'm not going to put a discount number. I'm not going to put a price in there for a couple of reasons. My prices aren't really cheap. But if I ever change my prices, can I, and then am I just hooped, right? I can't, I don't want to just give up on the ad. Yes, we can turn off the ad, edit the post, things like that, but it's still re-optimizing. So it's not really beneficial for me. So I'm going to put, you know, new, um, new season sale on today. So that it's the urgency, right? This still has that urgency factor because it's today. They don't know if it's um, going onwards. I'm even going to add a little bit more urgency and I'm going to do that. So now I've got it twice. Okay. So that's awesome. Now I'm always going to try it again. Facebook sometimes doesn't let it. Sometimes they let it. Their algorithm makes very little to no sense. I want to stress that when it comes to what they allow and what they don't allow. So we've got all that out of the way. Whoops. I'm just going to go through. I'd like to visualize this um, with you guys. So I've got all that out of the way. Now this is kind of all that's left. Um, now tag someone. Yeah, that's great. But I want to be more specific because as marketers, we need to stand out. What is the only thing that people write there? It's tag this post, tag someone who needs this, tag someone who wants this. Always, always, always. Um, you know, I'm going to put whose baby um, needs this. Just some different wording. It, it, it's catchier again because they're not used to seeing that. We don't want things that fit in with their feed. Keep that in mind because when I go through all these ads, you guys, these are the things that their feed probably has in them. Similar concepts, different niches but I need to stand out. So now, okay, I'm great there. That looks good, but I'm going to add some emojis because I really think that that's going to be powerful. Okay. I've got these two heart faces. Oh, whoops. Ah, that's actually how it works. I've got these two heart faces. I'm not going to put them right at the beginning. Um, I'm going to put it. Every baby needs this outfit. Now emojis, this is going to sound weird. Maybe it makes sense to you. Emojis. Am I showing this app primarily to females or males? I'm probably thinking females off the top of my head. Again, I have no insight to that. So I'm going to A-B test it. But females resonate better with emojis like this. They do. It's just factual. Um, at the end of the day, they, they, they like that stuff. So, okay, great. I'm going to add that. Um, those are definitely great emojis. I'm just going to scroll through. Maybe I see something else that really stands out to me. Um, you know, I want to add some color up there. I want people to want to read it. Um, you know, and I've, as I'm going through, I'm just going to put maybe the smiley face looks good for beside the discount. Eh, let's go. There's, there's too many in here to even look through. Right. But you guys get the point. You guys can take a look through that. Now, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that guy and I'm going to put um, new sale on today. New sale on today. That, that visually that was going to do that break anyway. So I'm not really concerned um with it i want to make sure that these exclamation points are beside the face though because that could put it on another line okay looks pretty darn good for me for making an ad this quick with absolutely no pre-planning um so let's go ahead and publish this post i'm just going to double check the comments see if anyone had anything that they wanted to add there awesome so let's go ahead and publish this guy looks good to me um and now that post is going up there now i need to get the post id i can either do publishing tools or what I do is sometimes that publishing tools doesn't show me. Um, this is kind of a little trick is I'm going to just send this to a message um, and I'm going to send it to my girlfriend because that is who gets these messages now. She's used to it. Okay, so now I've got that. 
Um, if I go and open up my messages here, I can click Vanessa. Um, and uh, what a what a lucky girl, hey? Um, copy link address. Now, if I paste this link, usually this is the post ID here. It says ID equals. So that's usually the post ID. Um, I'm just going to leave that open, though, just in case it's not. Uh, now I'll go into my ads. And you're going to see why I did that in a second. So now we got to create our very first ad. Okay, you guys, bear with me. This is where the crazy options come into play. I get it. Um, at the end of the day, chances are you're going with conversion. That's probably your goal with your ad. This is what your goal is. This is just kind of a fancy way of saying who should we show this ad to. If you choose people who want engagement, some people choose engagement here. Facebook knows who engages with posts more than other people. They're going to show this to people who are more likely to comment, not necessarily purchase. Yes, long term that can pan out for you because if you have a very viral post, people are seeing it for free or cheap, right? So that can work. I generally stick to conversions. Um, I sometimes use a mix to try and get comments on a post, but conversions is generally my goal, okay? Now I'm just going to type this Jan 8 um, basic ad campaign. Now, I just, I, I like to describe my things. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm using this for a demo purpose. So I'm not really concerned. I'm going to call this one Jan 8 for now, um, baby, or Jan 8 photo, because I want to always know exactly what that is looking into it. Again, I'll come back to that in a second here. Um, it's asking me to create a pixel. So maybe I didn't refresh after I made that pixel. Let's take a look. Um, create pixel, Jan 8's ad account. Oh, no, this is right, I think. Create pixel. I swear I did this. Maybe not. I might go and change the, regardless, I'll go and change that out. Um, already, you, are you already set up? Yes, continue what I was doing. Conversion event, okay, so I guess I did. Uh, but I'll make sure that that's the right pixel on there, obviously. Um, and again, I kid you not, you guys, this is why I hate Facebook. It's different today than it was yesterday, okay? I literally got it different today than it was yesterday. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that this is the right pixel in there. Shopify. What is the ad or the pixel number? Oh, copy. So I'm just going to make sure that that's in my store here because obviously that's very, very important for me. If I just go to online store preferences, you guys will be able to add the pixel. I also put a Google tracking pixel in there. Um, that's kind of just a bonus as well as one of the apps puts its pixel there. So I had the wrong pixel in, I guess. I don't know. So it's going to ask me to put my credit card in. So um, yay for you guys. You guys get to see my credit card. No, I'm kidding. I'm just going to change my screen. Um, so custom audience. I, I got to do something here, you guys. I got to create a new audience. I got to do a lot of things. This is overwhelming. I'm sitting here going, oh, my Lord, what do I do? Now, yes, there's some tactics to get a pretty good starting point on your audience. But I'm in the baby niche. I'm going to play around with this. I'm going to create two ads because I think this is going to be good for you guys to see. I'm going to create one in the United States because I'm stressing that I don't really – not a fan of the United States. So why not just A-B test it right in front of you guys, show you guys some things. I'm not going to ever say that Hacking Winners rules out selling in the U.S., period. No, definitely not. Um, why is my Bluetooth on? Um, definitely not, but it's still something that I want to test for a few dollars, right? What if I get a sale right off the bat? This is an unbelievable product. It does awesome. I don't know, right? So this expand interest, always turn that off. That's never a good thing. You want full control of what you're doing for your interest. If you click this, Facebook's going to put your interest to who knows what. You're never going to be able to replicate that. You might get temporary success, but maybe not. So I'm going to leave this as all. I'm going to go into detailed targeting. Just click browse. I don't know what options are out there, okay? There's things like interest. Is interest a good one for me? Maybe. Maybe it is because, uh, I don't know, maybe I, people click baby photos and like baby photos more likely if they're pregnant or about to, or they have a kid. I don't know. But I'm going to go behaviors. There's, there's usually a good behavior when we talk about niches like this, okay? Um, let's go down. Digital activities, mobile device users, nothing really crazy that I'm seeing there. Um, let's go to demographics, educational life events, parents. Okay, parents. What do we got here? Parents, age zero. Wow. Um, zero to 12 months, um, one to two years. All right, I'm just going to go back, double check that that post, this product's up to two years. Yeah, perfect. And chances are, um, they probably know other moms. So that's awesome. That's definitely a consumer demographic that I like. I'm pretty pumped about this, to be quite frank. Six million people. Things look good. Now, um, do I want to exclude young parents? I don't know. Let's, let's go to 25 and see what pops up there. It's not going to tell me the number, maybe 5.4. So there's a lot of young parents. Maybe I want to exclude them. Maybe I don't. 
Again, I don't know, but my problem is right now is I'm thinking about all the 18-year-old kids that maybe joke in their bio about having a kid. I don't know. So I'm not ruling that out, but I'm just going to see women. I want to see what this goes down to, 3.7. Um, right? So women are going to be more likely to show this, but I'm going to leave it open because at the end of the day, I'm looking at almost like a triangle, okay? Um, I know I don't need to go this far down, but I'm just going to put upside down triangle. I want to show you guys this, okay? Now, I start my ads like an upside down triangle. I start up here and I keep it very, very broad, okay? Now, I don't go into specifics. Um, I'm just making sure I'm not do, screwing anything up. I don't go into specifics. I don't do anything crazy. I leave men, women, all ages. I put a brief behavior or interest demographic on there. And then I narrow down based off of how the results are. When I get some people clicking, interacting, I'll know their age, their gender. And that'll allow me to go, okay, the people interacting with my ad the most are 34-year-old females. I'm going to narrow that down and isolate that. Eventually, I will get to this point. But too many people try to start with this point, and then they never find success. We have to understand that this is a learning curve. I might not get purchases up here. I might only get comments. That's totally fine. I'm investing in a business. But eventually, I will get down to this cone um, and have a very specific audience, people who may be just like Ellen and are 34 to 37 and females and speak English and live in Texas. And, you know, you can go as, as far down as you possibly want there as we're doing this. So uh, I think that was a good visualization. Proud of myself there, uh, to say the least with that one. So that looks pretty good to me. Now let's keep coming down here. There's placements. I'm going to edit placements. Absolutely. I'm going to edit placements. Now, a couple of things I want to look at really quickly here, guys, is placements are a funny thing. Okay. Now there's good placements. There's bad placements. Feeds is always the best for me. Generally speaking, it's always the best. As well as mobile devices, generally speaking, the best. For the purpose of this, I'm going to leave it on both because I don't know what could happen. Generally speaking, I usually just start with mobile, um, especially in the United States. It's usually just where people purchase now. It's usually a lot better. So I'm going to go, okay, feeds. And now, what are these other ones? Instant articles, definitely no. In-stream videos, it's not a video. If a photo comes up, they're going to skip it. Right-hand column, absolutely not. Those are junk ads. They're... Great for retargeting campaigns, nothing good. Suggested videos, not a video. Marketplace, could be good. I don't know enough about it, to be quite frank. It's still a fairly new thing. Um, I don't have tremendous success there, so I'm going to leave it out. It seems like it's too obvious. Uh, stories, that's eh, a photo. Mm, I don't think it's going to do well there. Instagram, yes, I think this would do well on Instagram. I don't have an Instagram page set up. Instagram is a place where people click your Instagram handle when it's clothing, and they're going to go right to your page and see what you're all about. I don't have one, so I can't really do that. So I'm going to leave that out. Now, and that's literally my logic there. I think this would be a great Instagram play, but I don't have that page set up. Stories, um, banner ads, audience network, never ever touch audience network. Messenger, eh, I don't really like it. It's good for one very specific use that I don't think any of us need. Um, it's more of something that I do. So I'm going to start my budget at $5 a day. That's what I always do is I go $5 a day budgets to start. Um, seven day click window. I'm going to explain this really quickly to you guys because some people don't understand it and think that it impacts their ads negatively. And I get, get sad by that. It doesn't. It's the same thing. This is just what the metrics are tracking. So what I'm saying here is if this ad gets a purchase, Facebook's going to give it credit. If it clicked the ad up to seven days later, purchased, Facebook gives this ad the credit. If it viewed it within one day, if I make it one day click, all that that means is if someone clicks the ad, doesn't purchase it, purchases it 30 hours later, the ad doesn't get credit for it. So now I have no idea who purchased the product, what ad made them purchase. So I can't do that. I want the more data. I don't, I, I get that there's arguments for both. I'm sure you guys have heard things, but I'm not worried about that. I don't have to worry about the scheduling. All right, I'm going to continue. Now, this is where I get to that use existing post portion. Okay. Now I can go ahead and enter that ID right here. Let's see if it worked. This post can't be used because it's not for the original page. What are you talking about? Okay, so I clearly have the wrong thing, right? It's not the right one. Let's try this ID, right? Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. Um, da -da -da. There we go. So it was the second number. Sometimes they're in different places, you guys. I, I don't know why, but it's, it's a thing. Um, just understand that. I'm going to close up some of these tabs. So understand that. It's, it's a thing, but that's usually where you get them from. So now how does this ad look? Looks pretty darn good to me, actually, considering, you know, how quickly I put this together. Looks good. Awesome. So let's go ahead, let's add a button here. Let's go shop now, da, 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 shop, where's S? Shop now. Um, when I'm adding this link here, I wanna use this direct link. 
Bitly links take longer to load, okay? They're redirecting it. They're going from to Bitly to, or sorry, they're going to, to Bitly to Facebook URL redirect to the website to Bitly, right? Like, it's not good. So I want to make it as quick as I can because time is a factor. Remember that. Time's a factor. Um, Pixel, Jenny, that account, your Pixel's not active. Okay, I'll sort that out later. I don't need to worry about that right now. Thought it was. Your ad needs to reach lower because you're, you've are got too much text on the ad. You're going to request a manual review. This doesn't have too much text. It won't let me request a manual review. Hmm, weird. Okay, I'll hit confirm and I'll hop back into this ad and see if there's anything I can do about that. I like when I have issues sometimes because I think you guys get to see some more things, but I don't like issues because what if I can't solve this in front of you instantly? Um, let's take a peek. So the ad's up. Uh, your Facebook pixel's not active, but the warning's not there. So it's weird. Normally the warning comes up here. Um, okay, I'm just going to go into the ad set. Normally that warning comes up, but I don't see it popping up anywhere, so I'm not too concerned. Um, if I saw it popping up, I'd be concerned, but that's strange. Nope, looks like we're good to go. So that's the ad. I just put it to a U.S. audience, okay? Now, we're going to create this overseas audience. This is what someone was commenting about as well, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, I'm just going to check these comments. Emojis are great for pattern interruption. Exactly, exactly. Someone took psychology in school. Um, that is exactly what it is. It's the same thing as not using the word tag, right? Use a different word. It's pattern interruption. Um, thumbs up. Thank you. I was using Bitly. Yeah, Bitly's a great one. You guys can use Google Shortener as well. It's good. People might resonate better with it because it's got Google in it, but I've, I've never noticed a difference to be quite frank with you, so I'm not um, worried about it. Now, I'm going to duplicate this ad, okay, in the ad set level. Again, this is what I was talking about. Campaigns, technical title name, ad set, where we actually do our targeting, ads, the actual ad content. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm just going to add this USA. I want to make sure that without having to click into it, I know exactly what that ad is. Jan 8, photo USA, pretty self-explanatory. I don't have much going on here, so I know that that's the case. Um, and then I'm just going to duplicate. Now, duplicate original campaign. Yeah, I don't want to touch any of that settings. I want to A-B test everything. So what does A-B testing actually mean to an extent like this? I need to keep some variables the same and I only need to change one variable. Okay, you guys? So look at this. I'm going to go US overseas is my new ad. Not going to change the ad at all. Not going to change the interest targeting. I'm just going to look at these countries, okay? But I'm going to be careful when I do this because now I'm playing around with interest or demographics where Facebook has less data. Okay, guys? Now I'm going to go over to my list that I had worked on with you guys. Where did I put it? Um, my desk is an other. My desk is an absolute mess right now. I'm, I'm scrambling. I got so much stuff going on. So let's take a look at these countries that I have access to. Okay, guys? So I've got Russia in here, right? I'm just going to put this down um, and take a peek. I don't know how well these this targeting, this, um, what do you call it? This new parents, blah, 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 it does in Russia. Now I see here 11,000 people reach. Okay? Seems like they don't got good data on that. Okay, I want to keep that in mind here because that's important to me. If that number's not going up, that means I don't have an, an audience. Poland, okay, and I'll show you guys exactly where I got these numbers from in a second. Poland, um, okay, it went up a decent chunk there. Okay, France, this is definitely a product that I think would work in France from what I know about it, the little that I know about it. Um, okay, it went up again. That's awesome, right? United Kingdom. That's one that, again, it's on the fence, um, but I'll show you why I'm including that one in just a second. Um so I've got my four in there, my one, two, three, four. Those were the top four that came up in that product. So what I mean by that, when I found the product, um, all that I did was I looked at this circle here, you guys, and then I went in order. So it was it was in this order, and I had United Kingdom in there, Canada, right? I went through this and found this circle where the product was already selling. So I took my audience. Again, I could have had no interest targeting in there. I could have done that. It wouldn't be as effective with this product because it's such a specific niche. I probably would want to put in like babies or Ellen because I feel like a lot of moms watch Ellen and I'll show you guys exactly how you can find those targeted audience still. And I'm just going to come through here and go Russian Federation Poland. So this is exactly where I got that. This is how we apply the hacking winners audience to here. This is simply it. From here, I'm going to have some data for you guys tomorrow that we get a look at and break them down further. Okay. But for today, this is all that I'm going to do. Again, I'm starting at the top of that triangle. So I picked the four most popular countries that were in that triangle or in that uh, pie. And I wrote them down as I found that product. Then I went from there. So now I'm going to leave everything else. Um, I'm going to put English if it doesn't drop this too much. So I can see I'm at 1.1 million. I'm going to put English. And it barely drops me. Great. So now that's just going to make it 
um, easier for me because now I don't have to worry about if, if someone comments not being able to reply to these people, okay? So didn't drop it much, so I'm not concerned there. I'm just going to check my placements. Now, sometimes Facebook will be sneaky and accidentally add placements there. Um, make sure you guys check that. And I know you're technically agreeing to it in a previous step, but whoever looks at that. So, okay, guys, looks good. I'm going to change this from overseas now, right? Because I want to I want to stress this because, you know, it's going to get confusing. So I've got Russia, Poland, France, United Kingdom. I'm going to go Russia, are you, Poland, France, UK. Okay, uh, probably not the right GB is technically, I get that, but whatever. Um, as long as I internally know instantly what it is, that's great. So everything looks good there, you guys. I'm going to, no, going to hit publish, okay? Almost hit the scar draft. Was gonna lose it. Um, so you guys can see I didn't change anything else other than the countries there. I just left that. I put in those new countries. That's all that I'm trying to do, you guys. Um, my goal is to just get some data here. My goal is not to get purchases off this first five dollars. If I do, that's great. It works sometimes. Sometimes I get lucky, but my audience is massive. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe it does. Hopefully it does. That'd be that'd be awesome. That'd be cool to show you guys a purchase on the first date. But again, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Um, Let's, let's just check this comment here. Uh, it's a big one. What influences your interest targeting? Do you limit your interest targeting once you've hit a certain audience reach level? Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. So um, let's jump into a cool tool that you guys have access to, okay? Because interest targeting is kind of one of those topics that people for clickbait purposes will claim that they have answers for you. So I'm going to hop into my ad account and I'm just going to go over to an audience insights. Uh, where is it? There it is. Um, audience insights under plan and I'm not sharing my screen. Am I? Yeah. Um, let's take a peek here. Now I can do a lot of things. I'm just going to start with everyone on Facebook and I'm going to start with the U S because this is important for me. Now, what I look at here, you guys is this is a great starting point for your interest targeting. If you need to do interest targeting, generally speaking, I like to stick to products that you don't need to as much. You can keep broad interest because we're going to overseas markets, but this is a cool place to hang out on. Now, numbers wise, I know that that question had numbers like audience size and things like that. No, I never, ever care about that. I've had audiences of 30 million people that did great. I've had audiences of 30,000 people that did great. That number is not relevant. Um, don't worry about it. But let's go into here, you guys. And I've got these interests and, and things like that that I can play with. So let's say that I wanted to put in kids. Um, let's see if they got that. No, let's go parents. Maybe that parents interest can come up here. No, they don't let me play around with that. So this is a tougher one to use. Um, I want to stress that, but for the purposes of this example, I'm going to use fitness. Okay. Because again, I can't do much. I've, I've pretty much found the end all be all of my interests, I think. So I'm going to put fitness and wellness. Now, this is a great way for you guys to get some knowledge on your audience. I'm going to go over and I'm just going to click page likes. Okay. Of everyone in the U.S. that has an interest in fitness and wellness, this is the pages that they like, okay? It's right down here. This is all their page likes. These are places that I can actually acquire some more traffic because right now, everyone who likes Ikea is essentially incorporated in my audience for fitness. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that, right? It's definitely not beneficial for me. So instead, I'd want to eliminate some of those things. Maybe I'd want to advertise to people who just like fab lettuce, okay? Um, or, you know, none of these seem like great things. So, okay. I want to start to find better insights, right? Guys, I see all of these things coming up really aren't much to do fitness. So fitness and wellness wouldn't really be a great interest for me to use because look at all this jargon that's in here. Somebody who likes shopping at T-Mobile is, is falls within this category. That's not acceptable for me, right? I don't like that. So I'd want to break this down further and I'd want to go to maybe try bodybuilding. Let's say bodybuilding is my interest. Now let's see what these pages are all about. Now look at this. I've got, I've got way more pages here that are relevant to that interest. Bodybuilding.com, Grunt Style, Under Armour, Fabletics, um, Tough Mudder, UFC, Ulta Beauty. Yeah, that could work. Um, book that P, right? There's way more here that's relevant. So if I'm just starting with a broad interest category, you guys, bodybuilding is a lot better than fitness and wellness, okay? Because this has people that are actually in that industry. Look at those page likes. I wish I could show you guys this with the baby one, but... You guys picked the niche I didn't. Um, I can't do anything about that. So that's that's my play with audiences to start. We're going to chat tomorrow about how we've narrowed this down a lot more. We're not going to talk about that today um, because, again, I want to walk you through exactly how I'm going to do it with my audience. So this is kind of to know if you're on the right track or not. Um, you guys will be able to see that, right? That, that's all I want to get into it today. Tomorrow we'll clear that up for you a lot. But, yeah, I'm not looking for audience size or anything there. 
Um, I'm not familiar with the ad cost. How much did slash will today's ads cost for this seven day? Um, so my ads are running at $5 a day. That's what I recommend. I've got two ups. That's $10 a day running. That's usually a pretty good test budget. I, I usually would allow for 20 bucks a day in ads to test things. Um, if I'm being quite frank, right? This stuff can add up pretty quick, right? If you don't get purchases in there, this isn't a cheap game to be playing with. Um, yeah, I want to stress that, right? Like sometimes 500 is good. Sometimes 100 is good. Sometimes 5,000. 5,000 is obviously on the higher side, but you know, it's happened to me lots. I've had my last time I did a boot camp. Those of you guys that were in the 21 day boot camp, uh, I got a purchase. I kid you not off of $2 an ounce. The store was awesome. It did really, really well. $2 an ounce. Think about that. Um, do I expect that? No, I never have that expectation. Do I even expect to get a sale to be quite frank off that ad that I just launched? No, I expect that it's going to allow me to narrow down my interest better so that I can get sales. Um, but if my goal off that is not sales, if I get a sale, I'll be pumped. Obviously I'll be like, yeah, this is sweet. But at the end of the day, I'm not really concerned about that. I don't really care about that. If you go into this with the mindset of, I need to make money as quick as I possibly can, you're going to fail. But if I, you go into this with my mindset right now is I need to acquire data well, I'm not going to fail because my goal is data. I'm getting data right now. The ads, as soon as they start paying, are going to acquire data. So remember that. I, I know that's probably not what you want to hear. Um, but if someone tells you that they can create an audience and get you a purchase on the first second of it, they're lying. It's just not true. It's not how ads work. I've got a brand new ad account, brand new pixel. Definitely not going to be the case for me, you guys. Um, I want to stress that. So that's my spiel on the ads for today, you guys. That's all we're going to chat about there. We're going to get into narrowing it down a little bit more and the how to scale portion, I, I, this took longer than I thought. So I'm going to leave that until tomorrow, how we scale ads. Um, and then Hotjar. Go to Hotjar.com. It allows you to record visitors on your website. Install it. There's a free trial. It's great. Uh, you guys will be able to see what people are doing while on your website. But again, this took a lot longer than I thought it would, you guys. So I didn't want to get into too much. I'll, I'll save a lot of this for tomorrow. Same time tomorrow. Same group. Same area. I'll schedule that live right away here. Homework for you guys. Go launch a... Uh, product. I was just reading a comment there. Launch a product. Do exactly what I did. Start with broad audience. Start getting some data in the door. Okay. Um, I want to be frank with you guys. You guys, some of you guys are just going to try and copy me. I get that. Try, go ahead. Um, it's not really a, a good idea. It's not advantageous. You guys should be doing this on your own. So you guys are getting your own data. Um, Cause yeah, you're going to have some success for this week. And then after that, what are you going to do? Cause if you think, that you're going to get help from me on the store that you ripped me off on, probably not going to happen, but I don't care. I'll still try to help you, but I'm not going to be like, Hey, here's my audience. Here's my lookalike audience. Here's my, and I know this stuff might not even make sense to you yet. I'm not going to give you that stuff. So if you can't acquire it yourself, well, you're going to be in trouble. So that's why I never recommend just copying. You guys totally can. I don't really care that much. I mean, the market share is big enough um, that I'm not going to lose money for it from it. Um, so yeah, thanks. Exactly. What I was looking for, for the cost to get the data. Perfect. Um, when is it time to kill an ad off? Usually around that $20 mark. We're going to chat about that stuff a lot more tomorrow. Will your live courses cover the process of scaling if your product does well? Yes, we're going to chat about it because at the end of the day, this, this course is going to be done in a few days. Um, so my ads might not do well by that point. I don't expect them to launch and do well in three days. But I'll talk to you guys exactly about how I scale so you guys know that moving forward, when I cut kill ads, when I turn them off, when I duplicate, all sorts of things like that. So that's all I've got for today, you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow. Please send me screenshots of what you guys are doing in there. Um, if you guys don't have a Shopify store, let me know if you don't have a Shopify store. I'll send you an affiliate link. That'd be sweet. And then uh, I think you save some money and I make like 10 bucks off it or something like that. But it all adds up, right? It, it's all big term stuff. So I'll send you an affiliate link for that. Um, and please use the affiliate links. I really appreciate you guys. It's it's. If I'm giving away free stuff, if I can make a few bucks off it to, to dish back to my programmers who help me out with this stuff for free, I'd love to, right? That's a, a definitely something that I'm going to do with that. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, you guys. So thank you coming for coming by. Thank you for watching. Leave any questions in here that you guys want me to address tomorrow, and I will. And then we'll go from there. But it was awesome being with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'm excited to see screenshots of what you guys are doing. Please send me like a product that you're launching or anything. Um, be interactive in this group. That's how you're going to get a lot more value. So have an amazing day, you guys. I will chat with you tomorrow at the same time and go crush it. Go do something tonight. Tonight's the night. Just go and do it. Don't be just watching these videos doing nothing. Go and do it.